Let's get to some other news tonight. Two Metro police officers are now facing charges. They were accused of using force during an arrest following downtown protest back in May. Our Steve Jefferson has been following this story for weeks and Steve joins us now from police headquarters with a look at those charges. Steve. The grand jury indictment against the two officers here at Metro Police breaks down what the grand jury believes happened and names the two women involved as victims. The attorney for Ivory Westfield and Rachel Harding scored a win in their fight against their May 31st curfew arrest. Metro police officers arrested the two women during the Black Lives Matter protests in downtown Indy. Marion County prosecutor Ryan Mears sent the case to the grand jury. What better way to get a determination as to whether or not uh, someone's conduct was reasonable under the circumstances than to take it to the community, uh, which is exactly what we did here. The grand jury of six community members indicted Metro officers Jonathan Horlock and Nathaniel Schauwecker on multiple felony battery and official misconduct charges. Part of the evidence included video where Ivory Westfield suffered bruises and open sores seen in these photographs shared by their attorney. Attorney Terrence Kennard released a statement saying we are very pleased with the effort, resolve and diligence shown by Ryan Mears. The officers reportedly maintained they were following their training, something even the prosecutor explained may not have justified what happened in the eyes of the grand jury. The question here is, was the officer's conduct reasonable or not? And so whether or not a police officer followed training or not is not a legal defense. Prosecutor Mears says one of the reasons the case has been delayed is making sure the grand jury could meet safely during the pandemic. And Metro Police Chief Randall Taylor issued a statement following that grand jury indictment today saying those police officers will stay on administrative duty. Also saying I hold great respect for our criminal justice system and have faith that this process will deliver a just outcome. Anne -Marie.